All right, thank you, Tim. Well, for more than a week, our Shelby Danielson has been digging into the impacts of PTSD on first responders and the limited resources available to them. Tonight, we're hearing from female firefighters as departments work to call more attention to the need for firefighters long term mental health and well being. Firefighting isn't just a job, it's a passion. One that comes with grueling hours, dangerous work, and emotional trauma. I definitely have more confidence when I'm wearing this uniform and I'm at work than I do anywhere else, that's for sure. For Brittany Johnson, it's the perfect career. And I just fell in love and just decided there's nothing else for me. As the engineer yeah. here, she's in charge of everything related to this fire truck, including driving. 15 year veteran Lieutenant Pam Ramsdale is in charge of engine 61. They are a part of the estimated less than 10% of female firefighters in Jacksonville. I've had people kind of look at me funny when I told them I wanted to do it because they don't see women doing the job. I want people to realize like we go through the same training as the guys. We do the same job that they do. We have the same expectations on us that they have. And they experience the same amount of tragedy on a call and on their team. Do you know any first responders who've committed suicide? I do. Uh, I know a couple. So. And do you think PTSD may have led to that? Absolutely. Absolutely. She isn't alone. Yes, I do. I had one friend in particular that I have in mind. A new study just published Tuesday from the University of Houston found one in eight firemen suffer PTSD and contemplate suicide. For fire women, it was one in five. A stat Ramsdale and Johnson were surprised to hear. It hasn't really been talked about until recently. They both do recall feeling uneasy about sharing their emotions. When I first got on the job, I personally felt like I couldn't talk about an issue that I was having. You know what I mean? Like you just keep that on the down low. You want to play it off like you're good. Now they're starting to see a change as peer mentoring is offered and they hope to be the example for a new generation of firefighters like rookie Alyssa Sweat. I look up to the other female firefighters. I love having them train me. It makes me feel more comfortable. They tell me here they're a family. No female, no male. We're all firefighters. And they have to make sure they're open with each other. They want to keep this topic alive so they can keep each other alive. Shelby Danielson, First Coast News on your side.